he brings them through. It's a thumbs up. We're ready to go. On the front row with him then is uh, Matthew Goodyear. Richard Burrows is well up as well. The pace car goes. We're green and we're racing. And Townsley's been given a great start. We'll see him round and off. Turn one. So Townsley leads. 28 is Richard Burrows. Remember, it's top four to qualify. That's what it's all about. Andrew Cherry, Pete Gillett. Part number two is Andrew Cherry. Cherry, part number five, Pete Gillett, Jordan Salter. Is currently in fifth place in cart number three. And it's a great start for Darren Townsley. That uh, pace car pulling off late really helped him. And he's already out of the last corner as we watch the battle for second place. Burrows leading. Well, Townsley's lead on that first lap, 1.7 seconds. You'd think he wouldn't lose it from there. This is a 12-minute pre-B final. All these finals should be 12 minutes, so long as there aren't any interruptions for false starts, red flags, and shenanigans. So Townsley, Burrows takes a look over his shoulder, and he'll be looking at cart number two, Andrew Cherry. And it's Pete Gillett. With his, uh, is it just, oh, I'm trying to remember whose crash helmet that is. Famous from karting. Oh no, Townsley spun on his own. Down at turn nine. So, Richard Burrows, Rico. We had long conversations on the Facebook page about him coming into Club 100 and he's got a chance to win a final here. So Pete Gillett moves up as leading super heavyweight into second place. Cherry still on his bumper. Three is Jordan Salter. Alexander Lamin in car 21. He's fairly useful. Surprised to see him in the pre-B final. Well, there's Lamin. Gillett. Setting himself up for an assault. Mandrew Cherry down at turn one, if he's not careful. They're lining up into uh, a bit of a queue behind Gillett. People taking a peek over their shoulders. Bit of a gap developing behind. Paul Goddard just uh, drilled one down the inside there into turn two. Can he hold the spot? Yes, he can. He needs to get a move on. He needs to clear cart number 14 fairly quickly. That's Jamie Christie. If he means to get up to challenge that leading pack. He's in danger of being left behind. As we bring our leaders back through. And Burroughs has uh, now got Andrew Cherry to hold off. Remember, it's just top four to qualify, but at the moment, there are seven carts, I think, in with a chance. That needs to be thinned out somewhat, I think. Double move. Gillett going back through on Cherry, goes a long way. Cherry not happy, and he may lose out to Lamin. Lamin gets it done into turn five and moves through into third place and the charmed existence of Richard Burrows continues out front and a little bit of dice in and suddenly it's now at the leader and three fighting over the remaining three qualifying positions they need to work together now to drop the trio behind led by 52 Jack Hollingsworth and look at this Paul Goddard is getting across to join this group. They need to keep on fighting. 
and then he'll be right in the mix and in with a chance of qualification maybe using all the road and a bit more down the inside from a long way back comes cart number 14 oh there's a little bit of hanging going on behind Jamie Christie with a speculative move down in turn four Played right into the hands of Paul Goddard. And a chance now, maybe. Straight through and down and through. And he holds the spot in the last corner. Now he needs to make a gap. Get straight on and after the group ahead. So let's have a look with our race reader. Still there. Gillett still running in second. Lamin looking to pick up a spot when he can. Excuse the camera work. Something of an adjustment to make. Not a huge pre B final, that much is true. So it's all looking fine and dandy for Burroughs out the last corner and heading for start finish. Gillett in second still in the blue lid. So Richard Burroughs' lead, 0.6 of a second ahead of Pete Gillett, Alexander Lamin in third, Andrew Cherry fourth, Jack Hollings with Paul Goddard, Max Kemplin has moved into seventh, Jamie Kresde is in eighth place, losing a spot to Max. Aaron Stevens and James Johnson has just moved into the top ten with a move on Kelly Jones and Jordan Salter. Coming in from a long way back, 52 Jack Hollingsworth. Has he got it done? Yes, he has. He's managed to pick off Andrew Cherry, who's now down in fifth place. And out of qualification, except there's a penalty there. I feel as though I saw a number five on that one. I could be wrong. But let's put a question mark against Pete Gillett's qualification with that penalty. But it's Burroughs, Gillett, Lamin. Jack Hollingsworth, your top four, qualifying, and on his bumper, Andrew Cherry. We look further back. Paul Goddard in sixth, just about. Oh, that was a bit messy. But he's managed to hold off Max Kemplin. He's just gone through Jimmy Christie. Oh, more contact behind. All the fun and games. We're uh, under four minutes from the finish of this first afternoon final. The pre B heavyweight class, and we've got a change for the lead as Gillett goes down the inside of Rico Burroughs at turn four. Burroughs takes it back into turn five. And this top five all comes back together. Oh, on the grass, Jack Collinsworth. But still running. left that's uh will be four laps i would say so it settles down briefly burrow still leads gillett lamin in third all oh, crossed up breaking for the corner new cherry hollingsworth over his shoulder but he's right on the bumper of alex lamin over the hump, they're breaking hard for turn seven. Straight into eight. Almost a chicane, I think you'd call that, really. Turn nine, the hairpin in front of the paddock. 
Then turn 10, the last corner. Will we see a trophy on the podium decided there this afternoon? It wouldn't surprise me. The last corner, the last lap. Big gap developing to the rest of the field now. Sixth place is Paul Goddard. With Max Kemplin hard on his bumper. Or at least he was. They'll be hoping there's a couple of penalties ahead. Hollins was goes through. As Cherry opens the door for turn five. Settled. Oh, Goddard's too deep once again into turn seven, barely able to make turn eight. Puts Kemplin right in place to have a shot down at turn one. And he's coming through if he can. Round the outside. And it slowed the pair of them down and brought into play drivers from behind that's Kelly Rogers behind dressed in all white Aaron Stevens and James Johnson making up this group of five it's still Goddard Kemplin Rogers Stevens and Johnston that five behind and get back to the front with just one more lap to go now I would say as they cross the line this time well there's nothing on start finish yes there is so we're looking at our top four right now Richard Burrows here here Rico leading out this pre-B final and he will be chuffed if he pulls it off he Gillett may not be done yet but he might have a penalty I'm sure I saw his number on Start finish. Depends how big the penalty is. Jack Hollingsworth has moved into third. Cherry round the outside of Lamin. I'm surprised to see Alex Lamin. It's just fading out of this one towards the finish. You may be wondering what, if there's any penalties are going to help him as they come down to the hairpin for the last time. Oh, Gillett's gone deep, but deep enough. And able to open the steering and pull clear. So it's going to be a win in the first of the finals for Richard Burrows. And he's pleased, and I'm not surprised. Pete Gillett second for now. Jack Hollingsworth and Luke Cherry are top four. There might be the odd question mark in there about that top four. I'll examine Alex, Alex Lamin is fifth, Paul Goddard sixth. May not necessarily not be out of this one when it comes to the actual qualification if there are penalties ahead. Max Kemplin, Aaron Stevens, Kelly Rogers, Andrew Clark, James Johnson, Jordan Salters, Salter, Simon Maidley, Jamie Cresty, Darren Townsley, Matthew Goodyear, David Sterling, Chris Solomon and Ray Lewis is your top 19 and I need a quick drink.